Man, I love YouTube comments. I would never have even tried this if it wasn't for that one YouTube comment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I'm going to be polishing metals using the diamond resin burrs. This came from a comment. It's a pretty good idea because currently for a lot of my silver work, I use these. So these are my little sandpaper drums. And you can see if we have a closer look at this one, how smooth and shiny and it looks like there's a little bit of silver in there. That's because I used this very recently on silver, but I never actually thought to try out the resin burrs on some silver. So I've got some silver here, just a little off cut from the last little piece that I was putting together. But the question I got in the comments was on aluminium or aluminum as the Americans would say. So here I've got a few different materials. So we've got some stainless steel, aluminium, copper, and I've even got a random piece of brass. So I'm going to go over each of these because at least for the silver and for some of these other metals, you want to get it to a point where you can hit it with your polishing compounds. But we need to be able to get it into a range where these can kind of start kicking in and you can increase your grits or just go to the one that you need. And I have no idea how far the 1500 gets on that. So today we're going to test it on all of these different metals and see how we go. The most important one for me is the sterling silver. Hopefully it'll be a very similar result with the gold as well. But if it can compete with what the sandpaper drums can do, I, I'm sure it can't go up to the 5000 grit like this one. Definitely not going to make it there. But if it can just get to the point where the polishing compounds can kick in on all of these materials, it might uh, expand the market of people interested in this. And as soon as I read the comment, I knew that I could easily test it. So we're going to give it a crack. Let's uh, let's see how it goes. Man, I love YouTube comments. I would never have even tried this if it wasn't for that one YouTube comment because I am now probably going to use these resin burrs for some of my silver work. Here's a piece of silver. Now I'll show all the other all the other materials as well in a minute, and I'll show what happened to the burrs. But you can see here that's the 200, that's the 400. With the silver, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. 800 and the 1500. It's definitely working super well super fast so i gave these a really brief scrub with each of the grits just to see where they would end up and to be honest this one maybe i'd hit it with one really fine sandpaper before i moved on to the uh polishing but it actually does a super good job i don't think i would ever go and use like a 200 grit look at the scratches it's put in there they're going to be impossible to get out luckily this is a scrap piece of silver 400 also way too way too harsh I reckon the 800 is a little bit too harsh. I think just scrubbing up with the 1500 will do a lot of good. And then maybe the higher grit sandpaper. These just don't wear out like the sandpaper does. Probably good to show what happened to the burrs before I move on to the other metals. You can see here you've got a fair bit of the metal depositing on the surfaces, but the burrs themselves weren't really wearing down too much at all. So it's kind of, kind of pretty good. You can see I work brass. That's not gold. That's just brass. So it's getting that brassy color. I will, before using these on any stones, refresh all of these with the aluminium oxide dressing stick just to peel all of that off, scrub it up nice and clean, and then go back to a fresh resin and diamond face. I don't really want a lot of those little metal particles doing anything anything to the stones. I think it'll also deposit a lot of that metal on the surface and then I'll get some metallic smears all over it, which is uh, no good. So maybe I'll actually just set these ones aside and just reserve them for my silversmithing stuff. Though I think I would probably only use this one. If we have a look at a couple of the other metals, I know the comment in particular I think was interested in aluminium or aluminium, and here you go. So, really coarse, I think too coarse for anything, unless you're trying to get rid of some welds or something. And then if we transition all the way through to here, so this is the polished untouched surface, that's the 1500. I don't know if that's what people are after. I think sandpapers are a little bit better on the aluminium surface. It's just a little bit too rough, I reckon. I wouldn't go over that with the uh, cloth and polishing sticks. Brass is a bit of an interesting one because it worked quite well on the brass. There you can see the 200, pretty rough. 400, pretty rough. 800 starts to get a little bit more interesting. And then there's the 1500. It's actually given a really nice finish on that. So on brass, it's actually quite interesting. It has scrubbed up quite nice compared to the rest of the area. I reckon you could go over that with the correct polishing compounds and it'll look real nice. Copper, pretty similar to the brass. Doesn't look great at the low grits, but once you get to the high grit there, it actually looks pretty good. Like that's fairly polished. Let's give it a really rough angle. That's probably the worst angle there you can see. But yeah, it does come up real nice. And then finally, some steel. So yeah, as you'd expect, pretty rough. I don't think it'd be very good for 
dealing with any uh, welds or anything like that. I think you'll be chewing up your burrs way too quickly. But if you are trying to get a bit of a polish on them, it hasn't done a terrible job there. I reckon I would be happy to then hit that with the polishing compounds and finish it off. So yeah, actually quite interesting, particularly with the silver, because I think I will use that. It is very annoying to use the sandpaper drums and just chew through them instantly. Working on a pendant or something, I would much rather get it to this point and then just maybe do the higher grit sandpapers just to get it a little bit finished off and then hit it with that final polishing compound. Compared to the sandpaper, I actually think these burrs would be much cheaper in the sense that they're not wearing anywhere near as quickly. I don't think the set of four is overly useful though because I don't think you'd ever scrub back to the 200 grit. I think that's way too coarse. Unless you're really trying to get rid of some terrible solder spots, like you've put way too much solder on your pendant and it's kind of leaked through and got onto the outer, outer edge. Then you could maybe go for the 200, 400, 800 and then get up to the 1500 then switch over to the high grit sandpaper. I'm sure that could be an option. Probably best just not to make a mess of your soldering in the first place though. It's one of those things that I've learned. It's uh, best to just use the minimal amount and get it to work and solder and flow and not have to scrub up too much. The more scrubbing you do, the, the longer time you're going to have to spend and I think the results Unless you spend a really long time, the results just aren't as good. So yeah, I've surprised myself with this video. This is why YouTubers should read the comments because there are great ideas in there and I think the ones that ignore their comments are really missing out. I know I will certainly be using that 1500 grit on some of my future jewelry work, of which you should see some because I'm definitely getting better. So hopefully a few more pendants about to come out and of a quality where I would actually be able to be happy to sell them because I'm not going to wear them. I'll just keep my first one ever just for the memories, but the rest will be the first time I sell any real opal related things. I'd much rather get people the tools to do a lot of the work themselves. I think there's a extra satisfaction in that. So I'm going to have to start selling these burrs to people working, working with metals, it turns out. Though I don't think it'll be the four kit. I reckon you'll probably only ever really go for the three, maybe even the two, unless you've made a real mess of soldering. And then I guess people do use like 200 grit sandpaper sticks and stuff to just really tear it off. And the good thing is that the pointed burrs can actually get into some nooks and crannies on some of the uh, jewelry pieces to get those hard to reach places that a sandpaper stick just doesn't quite make. So hopefully if any of you guys are doing silver work like me, you might actually try these out on one of your pieces. I would just suggest maybe buying two sets, using one set for the metal and one set for the stones because this metal is going to take me a little bit of time now to get off and you're going to wear down the burrs a bit more. Keep that in mind, try it out yourself and see how you go with it. You might really like it. I'm going to pack these guys away, get out a fresh set because I've got a couple stones on the go that are just about ready for the resins, including one major project that I'm hoping to get out sometime soon. I've been inspired by something that you'll see possibly in the video after this to release a project I've been working on for quite a while. I just got to really sit down and it's going to take a couple hours just to finish it off. So fingers crossed you see that one soon. I think this is the first time I've even ever hinted at it. Maybe I'll give a sneak peek in a couple videos time. Good luck, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you around guys.